Well, you know, that's uh, fantastic about the real estate business is, you know, there's multiple exit strategies. And a lot of times I just sort of let the market speak as yep. to who's going to get the house first. So, you know, yep. in this market, I'm glad you brought that topic up, Henry. Um, you know, in this market today, it's challenging, more challenging to yep. find great deals. And um, you're really, really good at finding great deals. So what are your best strategies today on finding the deals? Yeah. Um, so what I do, I'm, 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 I'm what you would call like a real estate investing old school guy. So I, I'm direct mail. That's all I really focus on. I have a lead generation website. So I, I pay like for a Google AdWords campaign, but most of my marketing budget goes towards direct mail. And I would say the difference between direct mail being successful in this market versus direct mail being successful, you know, two years ago is uh, volume and consistency. Um, you know, a couple of years ago, if you were inconsistent in your mailing, you could probably still land a deal or two because the market wasn't as inflated. There was less competition. And so there were more people that were interested in selling their home at a discount. So if you clicking on your processes, you could probably still land some deals. Whereas now if the deals are still out there, but there's less of them because most buyers understand that like, even if I have a distressed situation, people are buying anything right now. And if I stick it on the market, somebody will make me an offer. And so they understand that. And so that doesn't mean there's not distressed properties to buy. It just means there's less of them. So the people that are landing those deals now are the people who are consistent, who are doing a lot of volume and who are putting in the work and the hustle. So it's not just about doing volume, but you have to be able to follow up on all of your leads. And, and so as you're getting leads, if you're not, if you're not setting appointments immediately, making offers on the spot and then following up on those offers, within a few days to find out where that buyer's head is. Like the people who just set an appointment and then go look at it when they can and then make an offer a few days later, they're not getting deals. It's the people who are consistent in their efforts, consistently marketing, consistently offering on everything, consistently uh, following up on those offers. The people who have the processes and procedures in place are the ones that are landing the deals. And so I would tell someone in this market, if you want to be successful at finding great deals, you've got to be super intentional and super consistent.